Moon Mama here, and today I'm doing the Smuggler's Bounty Box Rebel. This is a bi-monthly box that I get. Um, it's one of soon to be three because I am trying out that new Disney Pirate Box, whatever it is. So I'm not sure when that's coming, but keep an eye out for it because it will be new unboxing on this channel. Um, I'm going to put all the information for this box in the description below, so you can go ahead, click it, like, and get it because. Uh, it's always awesome. I've never been disappointed with these guys, I don't think. And we're just going to dig right in because uh, I'm losing my voice. So, I don't want to be too, too long talking because it needs to rest. Seems to be everybody's losing their voice. Something to do with the springtime memes. Let's just see how many people can get sick. So, I'm going to open up the box. And as always, there's going to be a pin in your pack. I love how they do these boxes like this. So I can, and for chains, they're actually attached instead of slide around all over the place. So, your pin. That is pretty awesome. And then, of course, your patch, which I haven't figured out what I'm doing with my patches yet. So, it may end up just being a blanket for the bed. Once I get enough of them on a black backing or something, or a starry style background, I don't know yet. So, then you're going to open up this flap, move the cheat sheet away. And as always, I start with the t-shirt. These ones here are almost always a Funko powered pop looking shirt, which is pretty cool. I don't really wear them too often, but I do sometimes. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. And I love the shadowing effect with the orange. It's not even red. It's orange around the edges here to give that almost like a like they're coming out of a fire glow or an explosion or something. I don't know. I like it though. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't really know character names all that well, so for the most part. We're going to start with, I believe this is the pop because we all know what it is. Oh, it's not. It's another one of those. And at least it's the same color to match my Darth Vader. So this is Chopper. These are a new line they're doing, and I guess we're being stuck with them in... Here, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I can find a home for them. In my house somewhere, because I'm keeping them. Because they're cool, they're just, and glittery. So. You know what, I'm going to take him out, because the glare makes it very, very hard to see. And I know most of you have probably already seen all these unboxings, because I live in Canada, so I always get my mate. Woo, you ever smell that plastic? There he is. He's so sparkly. You know, his face almost looks like Stitch when you do that. Almost. Now I gotta remember how it goes in here. So I'm guessing this is becoming any new orb. He does have a little bit of blackness on him. I'm going to see if that will wipe off or not. I don't know if you can see it. But we'll see. Um, and this is the pop we all knew about. It's a dark mall. He's pretty awesome. I actually, uh, I like him. I, I think in the movie, his character wasn't given enough development time, I think, and it ended too soon. So he gets, he gets, uh, put down a lot because a lot of people don't like him. I think if given the right time and effort, he could have been a very well-developed, awesome character. But they rushed him and they threw him in there as an afterthought, I almost feel like. Like, they needed a big bad kind of like Darth Vader idea but then they messed it up so 
I don't know. I think uh, given the right amount of time in that, this could have been an awesome character. But I do love this pop. And the other pop is Captain Rex. He is not shown on the back of these boxes, so. I'll show you in a minute. But there's Captain Rex. And of course, as always, he is the Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. There's all the ones you can collect. So Darth Maul and him are the Smuggler Bounty's exclusive, so you cannot get them. Well, you're going to be able to, because people are going to be selling the ones they don't want. You'd be surprised where that comes from. Let's see, is there anything else? And that's everything in the box. You know, I kind of miss the little throw-ins, like the lanyards, things like that. Right now, we're just down to two pops. This thing. And the shirt. Still, all in all, it's a pretty good pop, like box. Uh, it's My box is pretty damaged, too. I just noticed that. So... Thing I'm an out of box collector, so I well, I will be an out of box collector. Uh, I have to reorganize my pops, and then one day maybe I'll give you guys a tour. There's not many, there's just over like there may be 110 of them or something like that, so it's not a huge, huge amount of pops. It's just that because of my sudden inability to stay out of my stuff, I have them all in my room pretty much across my two dressers, so there's really really unorganized mess right now in chaos like I have to figure out how I'm going to reorganize them and sort them out because right now half of them are hidden behind another half and I like to see my pops I don't like them hidden in that so um our main theme is I'm guessing the 40th anniversary that's pretty awesome I'm excited to see what that's going to be and then, of course, you've got your, sorry, Darth Maul Pup, the ghost pilot by the gifted Hera, I cannot pronounce that last name, is the starship and home base of a small band. And then you have your, these guys, which you could have gotten in clear. Oh, I kind of wish I got in the black. Oh, you know what? The one I have up there is more yellow. Okay, sorry. You can get orange, red, clear, yellow, and black. I wish I would have gotten the yellow or the black. The yellow because it matches the, I guess, the Darth Vader I have over there is more yellow than clear. Now that I see this clear one, he's more yellow than clear. And then you've got your pins and your other pop. So that's pretty cool. Definitely cannot wait to see what the next month's theme is going to be. It's going to be pretty awesome. I'm hoping to get some awesome classic stuff in there. Because, well, who doesn't like classic Star Wars? But I love that we get the two pops. And the shirt. And the pin and patch. But that's the base amount that's usually what you always get and now they're throwing these in i kind of miss the i know a lot of people complain but i enjoyed the little filler stuff like not a whole lot like maybe one or two little filler items i do miss that just because they really do something really interesting so i don't know I'm still gonna keep up with this box anyways because we're star wars fans in this house and we love it and it's guaranteed two pops usually, so if you don't get two pops, it's because you're getting a big ride like we did last two months ago, where we got the Hoth and Han Solo winter. So it's pretty awesome. Um, again, I'm gonna put all the information for this box in the description below, so you can go ahead, click it, like it, follow, it, get it, cause it's awesome. While you're at it, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. There's a bell down there if you want notification for when I get around to doing videos hopefully i will be doing more i have some concept ideas going around in my head i just haven't had time to put them out yet like i want to do a walkthrough to a game i play 
constantly online called Puzzle Pirates. Uh, so I want to do a basic walkthrough of that at some point. I just have to find the time. So I'm hoping maybe once the kids are in school this week, I can nail that down and get it out of the way. I never have time to do anything, really. So here's hoping. So anyways, uh, don't forget to follow me on uh, Facebook and Twitter and whatever else I got down there. And have a good one. Okay? Bye! <laughs>